Hi, I'm Lockie Smith. And I'm Lockie Snell. And welcome to the ninth episode of Grammar TV for 2020. Every day when you're walking down the street, everybody that you meet has an original point of view. <laughs> and I say, hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. If you can learn to work and play and get along with each other. You got to listen to your heart, listen to the beat. First up, we have Class 9A going to the museum to learn about World War I. This story was provided by Mackenzie Grant. So last week we took Grade 9, 9A, to the Queen Victoria Museum and Art Gallery to look at primary sources from World War I from our local district. Now, history is almost exclusively taught in the abstract. It almost has to be, because happened in the past. But the beauty of having a look at primary sources, artefacts from the time, artefacts from the local area, it, it's more tangible. And so students who don't necessarily love the abstract, uh, they, can, they can really feel history in their hands and it, and it just becomes more real. So that was my hope in taking the students to the museum and from what I can gather, they seem to enjoy it. Hey Lockie, what did you think about the movie 1917 we watched the other day? I really enjoyed it. I think it gave us a powerful message on war. Anyways, with all of us thinking about our futures, we sometimes need a reminder of what service the careers office provides. Here's the story by Lola Eastor and Asha Pohan. I'm Mrs Simons and I'm the careers advisor here at Launceston Grammar. In careers, um, my work here is really about helping students as they kind of find their way through and work out what they want to do with the rest of their life. So a lot of people think of careers being like maybe the magic sorting hat in Harry Potter, where you're going to come in and I'm going to say, you're going to be a PE teacher, you're going to be a vet. It's not really like that at all. It's about helping you to learn a little bit more about yourself so you can make really good decisions uh, about your own pathway. So my office is in the Learning Hub and students are welcome to come and make a time to see me. They can just pop into my office or they can send me an email if they like. Um, I spend a lot of time one-on-one -on -one with students from anything sort of up to grade nine onwards is my, my main area. Looking at things like subject selection, looking at things like maybe doing some work experience. But if you're really unsure, I'm absolutely here to support you. So please do come in and have a chat. I'm always happy to see new students. Aren't the grade sevens doing something on Egypt for history? Oh, hey, that's my favorite place. Really? Yes. Now here's a segment by Charlotte Pillsbury Milne and Mia Ainsley. This display is a temple from ancient Egypt and it shows three parts of the temple, the sanctuary, the hall and the courtyard. Mine's a poster board that has the differences between the wealthy people in ancient Egypt, slaves and poor people in ancient Egypt. It was a model about a pyramid. It was hard. It sort of, not really. It was pretty fun. But not really. Not boring. 48 hours? Two hours. And the information, not the actual making. About two days. It was a topic Mrs. Stocks was really passionate about. She wanted us to learn it as well. The pyramids were always my favourite thing about Egypt. Did I ever tell you that? Yes, Lockie, you've told me a million times. Sorry, I just really love Egypt. Well, you're going to have to say goodbye to Egypt because that wraps up our episode of Grammar TV. Oh, really? Yes, Lockie. Oh, make sure you like and subscribe to Grammar TV for all the latest updates and great content like this. Shameless self-promotion! Oh, goodbye, goodbye and happy, happy holidays. holidays.